draws me to mountain biking. The excitement that it brings. I love the adrenaline rush. I love doing fast-paced stuff. So today we are at Chestnut Mountain Biking Park. This particular place is a pump track. So the coolest thing about this pump track is that it gives people access to actually start riding, even for beginners. The whole purpose of a pump track is gaining speed while not pedaling. So we use our legs and bodies to compress in the whoops, unweigh our bodies at the right time and we gain speed. Like this lady over here, she's not pedaling but she's gaining speed at the same time. It helps to improve our basics, um, our core muscles in our legs. At the start, I wouldn't say it's more difficult but we women have a lot less strength than the men so we have to train double as hard to keep up with the men. But I mean, if they can do it, so can we lah. So we started this morning at Chestnut Trail. Always plan your rides, know where you're going. Whenever you see wildlife, stay a safe distance away from them. Do not approach wildlife. Always ride on designated trails. It's better to go as a group or at least two person. It's a buddy system because it's safer just in case anything happens in the forest. Uh, somebody can help you out. Always bring your trash out, leave no traces of your rubbish. See? We picked this up from the trail. Who left this? Oreo? Huh? So dirty. Always give way to people who are faster than you. Always give way to people who are climbing. It's trail adequate. There are beginner trails all the way to advanced trails. So for beginners, I will recommend maybe T15 Trail, Chestnut Trail, Chestnut South Trail. For more advanced, maybe we can go ahead with Bukit Timah Mountain Biking Trail or Ken Ridge Trail. Ken Ridge Trail is one of my favourites because it's more fast-paced and we could practice our cornerings there, our drops there, our technical skills. Some of the highlights at Bukit Timah Mountain Biking Trail are the seven drops which is a technical descent. The highest high of mountain biking is actually being able to conquer obstacles. It's so extreme, it gives you peace. It keeps you in the zone. Everything else doesn't matter except the trail and what's ahead of you. It keeps me motivated. It exposes me to the countryside of Singapore. Because Singapore is such a fast-paced, bustling city. It's always quiet and peaceful in the forest. So we went to Quarry, which we had our breaks there. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Long time no see. All things. Yo, your fist bump time. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's super easy to make mountain biking friends because everybody just says hi to each other. Hi, uh, I'm Ming from uh, Flow MTB. Um, I'm part of a group of volunteers who take care of the trail. We work together with N Parks here yeah, to make sure that our trails are rideable even in wet weather. So people like Ming, he posts trail maintenance days on Facebook and people will just go there and sign up as volunteers. So once he gathers the people around, he will bring them into the trail, uh, bring the shovel, the gravel or whatever is needed to help repair all the damaged spots in the trail to help keep it maintained. These spots kind of link us up all together. A uh, different world of life. Uh. And uh, I thought that was quite meaningful. It becomes like a routine. You know, every Saturday or Sunday, everybody will just show up. Uh, maybe next week, uh, two weeks later, you'll see the same old faces. If let's say you got no one to ride with, you just turn up at the trailhead, then you just ask someone, can I ride with you? Or they probably just say, oh, okay, come along, let's go. Yeah, so it's a very close-knit community. When you're mountain biking, it takes your mind off everything. You don't have time to think about work, yeah, or your problems at home, so... Yeah, it's my way of connecting with nature. It's important to wash our bikes to keep our bikes in tip-top condition. 
and also to prevent our family members from complaining about bringing dirty bikes into the house. Now we are at Anspra. The things we should consider about getting a helmet, firstly budget, secondly also the fit of the helmet. Get a snug fit helmet, one that doesn't move around when you're cycling. Another really essential protective gear that is highly recommended would be these like full finger gloves, these knee guards and elbow guards um, just for covering the knees. Just some investments to think about for better longevity in the sport. Keep your bike clean always and you will need lesser maintenance for your bike. Well, I cherish mountain biking a lot because of uh, the, the wonderful friends I meet all the time in cycling. I do have a lot of fun uh, on my mountain bike. Yeah, so please come join us. It's a super friendly community, so I would really encourage anyone to just try. I cherish supportive friends like the ones I have here because they encourage me to do better. Yeah, that's what keeps me going. <laughs>